Hi guys, how you guys doing? You're watching Andy WTH. I'm Andy, uh, Big Brother edition, of course. Anyways, uh, Big Brother Canada's over, but Big Brother USA is coming very soon. It's of course June 22nd, less than a month. And a little bit of news update to what I gathered up to now. They've contacted the last 50. So the last 50 is been called to down to the basically down to the semifinals. Uh, they're gonna pick their group out of that. Now. Very interesting. Let's talk about twists. What kind of twists can they have this year? You know, I was kind of thinking of that the other day. What can we do? Well, you know, we've got, we had the Salvador twist. We had Big Brother, tw or Big Brother, American uh, twist, excuse me, American player. Uh, we had the Salvador. Uh, we had, there's so many twists we had in, in the past. But, you know, what would be the best twist? Something new, something outside the box. Really thinking. So, you know, Another rumor was going around. I had uh, to bring back the half uh, all stars to the newbies. Um, that could be possible. Or remember the twist we had there was uh, Rachel's sister came in to play, and everybody said, "Is that Rachel's sister, Riley's uh, sister?" Hell yeah. Anyways, so what would be the best twist of all? Well, to just say there's been a lot of twists. It's been the Golden Key. Uh, there's probably been super videos sometimes. But this is something that I just thought of, which would be the best twist that's never been done, Big Brother. Okay, or uh, USA, anyways. Look, <clears throat> this is what you do. You're bringing some returning players from Big Brother USA. Then you take some, let's say, some players from Survivor. All right, hey, why not? Bring some Survivor players in. And Amazing Race players. That would... They've, they've already had Amazing Race players in there once already. But why not have like the three entities under one house or one game? How would, how would it work out? Would the, the players that really played the game Big Brother before, would they be able to outplay the Survivor players? Would the Survivor players be able to adapt to the Big Brother game? Or would the Amazing Race players be able to adapt to the game? Or would it be all big brothers right to the end? That's what I was kind of thinking. Uh, I, I, you know, why not? I mean, you have a huge pool. That's a twist I think they need to visit in the future. Uh, absolutely. Another twist, which I don't think you're going to see that happen in the USA or anywhere else or in North America, but what I'd like to also see is just another twist. Okay? Like, have the best of the best international players that can speak English, obviously, uh, that can go to Big Brother USA, have some from the United States, some from Canada, Europe, whatever. Everywhere else that they played, Australia, bring back them, why not? Uh, see, call it the, the Big Superstar Big Brother Edition. I'm telling you, that'd be awesome. I think the best time to do it, really, honestly, is just after Big Brother or USA is over, do it right after that. Now, they have to redo the house, which is going to be really uh, interesting. So are they going to be able to do it? Maybe they can't do it. Maybe they have to go to somewhere else. Let's say Canada. See, it doesn't matter. This is international. Right now, Canada does not have, you know, our show is over. So why not work with our U.S. counterparts and do that? International, like do it, a special edition for Big Brother Canada, or excuse me, Big Brother International. Uh, you can film right here in Canada. Why not? You know, uh, you, have, you, you, you have USA involved, Europe, have a huge market that they could exploit and also be have fun because you have different type of cultures, different type of people. Because, you know, it'd be new to us, it'd be maybe new to, to everybody else. It'd be a totally new game. I think that'd be awesome to watch too, because it would bring, it would bring something huge. But as far as Big Brother USA, I would like to see if they're going to do uh, a different All Stars, like I just said earlier, has some from Big Brother uh, USA in there, uh, Survivor USA, and Amazing Race uh, as well, all in one house. See what happened. That would be a great season this year if they do that. Because remember, everybody played a, a reality show, so hey. But the thing is, you're in the Big Brother house. Will the other two entities 
be able to outplay and outlast, as they say, Big Brother Pun, everybody else. Would they be able to expect the unexpected? Are they going to be able to adapt to it? Is it going to be too hard for them? Is it going to be like a walking park for the people that's from Survivor? Who knows? So anyway, that's just my take on it. I really think we should have, like, for if Big Brother wants to push the envelope a little bit, those are the two components we can do. Uh, international, obviously, unless you want to do it this year, right now, this summer, that'd be a great twist. Or do it, like, in the fall with Canada, if they could get, you know, they get the, the house ready for international. Why not? I think it would be, it would be the best thing that, for the bit be awesome. But anyway, that's my view. Uh, if you like what you see, just subscribe below. Uh, and again, uh, you're watching Andy WTH. And uh, you, my name is Andy. If you have also have any comments, by all means, click it down there. I would appreciate it. And I'll try to respond to the comments. Anyways, thank you very much. I'll talk to you guys later.